Hello and welcome to the next Lucosa Retro Game Review video and for this one it is something really special. This is a game that has the potential to completely redefine video gaming from this point. Uh, this uh, is a brand new title and um, Yeah, if I go way back to the very first retro game uh, review that I did, well, I reviewed Impossible Mission for the Commodore 64. I described it as uh, the greatest game ever created. A crown that it had for many years, but that crown has now been taken by this. Now, because the game is uh, of such magnitude, it doesn't uh, need the Commodore 64. Here we are on the Commodore 128. So uh, it's it's going to need uh, all the power it can muster. Well, unfortunately not. We do have to put it in 64 mode. So uh, here we go. Now this game was written by a programmer by the name of Andrew Layden and I strongly advise you checking out his uh, back catalogue of uh, gaming titles. Um, he did have a, a bit of a sort of hiatus from programming and this is the first one he's done in about 25 years. So. Yeah, I think it's time his break was over, and he's back to uh, creating the greatest games of all time. So, uh, let's get this one loaded up. Uh, there we go, right, and let's get it underway, because this game, well, the year is 2017, and it is time for... Lucosa Wars. Yes, this is a game that is actually starring me. Uh, so, um, well, there is some background here. He has endured yet another tedious episode of New Doctor Who. He has also now run out of fags. Well, it's a situation that, uh, well, it's, it's not good. And those cunts on the motorcycles keep zooming past his house. Enough is enough. So here we have the uh, in-depth instructions. Take out as many cunts as possible. Unfortunately, passing ice cream vans can obstruct Lucosa's throw. The cunts have also called the old bill, so Lucosa only has two minutes. See, the fuck is uh, he's only giving me like, a short uh, amount of time. The Kozer only has a limited amount of bricks, so make them count. Press space to throw the bricks. Right, here we go. So, at the top of the screen, here we are. Uh, we are waiting for the first fucking uh, motorcycle to come along. Now, notice there that uh, there is some... Uh, so I can't fucking get that motorcycle because that fucking ice cream van's in the way. But notice there is some glitching on... Um, the, uh, on the sprites there. This is despite the fact that this game is programmed in BASIC. I know that's hard to imagine I mean, when, you, when you look at it. Okay, I only pressed the space once but I threw two bricks. That's probably because I'm running it on the uh, 128. But uh, yes, yeah, so you've got uh, glitchy uh, uh, graphics on the sprites there despite the fact that this game is coded in BASIC. Now you think back to the likes of uh, Cobra when that was released, that required extensive machine code programming to produce the same fucked up effect on the, on the graphics. But here, uh, Andrew Layden has managed to create this effect just from basic programming. Now, if that isn't a sign of spectacular programming of a, a Commodore 64 game, I don't know what is. So I still I have less than a minute now, and I have not had much success here. All right, so that ice cream van has buggled off out of the way. There's uh, another motorcycle coming along. Unfortunately, the bricks do uh, 
move rather slowly, but there we go, we're taking another cunt out. Uh, and it means that it's basically you have to throw the brick as soon as uh, the fucking uh, motorcycle uh, shows up. There we go, another cunt gone. Uh, come on, where's the next? There we go, right, next fucker's just showing up. And another fucker dealt with. I've only got six bricks left. But my time is uh, is up. So the old Bill is here. Lucosa retreats but swears to get the cunts another day. Still, he knocked down five today. Uh, five is not, not a bad result, I think. My fag's gone out. There's not much of it left. In fact, there's about one and a half drags of it. That was worth doing. Right, so let's restart the game. And it does start completely from the beginning. So, uh, here we go then. Uh, attempt number two, and uh, while we are uh, having this go, we'll uh, get the review underway. So, in terms of audio, there is none, but uh, that just makes it absolutely superb it captures the atmosphere of the seething rage of uh, the main character there uh, as he's um, getting ready to throw the next brick at the next cunt coming past on the motorcycle so the audio is absolutely spot on it's it you couldn't have asked for more um, in terms of graphics it is quite clearly a graphical masterpiece uh, the uh, uh, graphical representation of uh, Lucosa there is bang on. Um, I'm pretty sure that uh, Andrew Layden there probably had, uh, he must have had some sort of photograph of us somewhere that he was working from because, uh, so he, he's captured the, the look absolutely uh, perfectly there. And in terms of gameplay, well, I mean, when you consider that uh, well you look at the, the Commodore 64 games that I've labelled as absolute timeless classics so you, you've got like your, your Impossible Mission uh, Hunter's Moon, Whizball Revenge 2 um, I'm sure there are others but they've escaped me and this shares the gameplay aspects with absolutely none of them but that just makes it even more fantastic because it's totally original. It's it's not having to uh, you know rely on uh, ideas from uh, you know previous games. It's it's gone about it in a, a completely original idea. I mean, it it really is just you know a absolute gaming utopia, and. You can't really be surprised by that, can you? I only got three that time. That was a terrible go. Right, I'll have one more go. Alright, there we go. This is the big one. And the, the controls are pretty, uh, you know, pretty complex. You, you, you've got to really be... Uh, you know, you need to have a good degree of gaming skill. Uh, otherwise, you really don't have much of a chance of uh, uh, getting anywhere with this one. So it, it really is a, uh, one of those games that is for uh, gaming maestros only. Um, but don't let that, that put you off. You know, give, give yourself the chance and, uh, you know, get some well-needed practice in. And you'll soon, you know, be able to take out these cunts on the motorcycles just as well as I would. Uh, so, there you go. So, uh, yeah, audio is perfection. Uh, graphically, it's perfection. And the gameplay, it's perfection. I, you know, I know there are some people who may dismiss this as, uh, you know, being of uh, cassette 50 uh, quality. But uh, clearly those people don't know the first fucking thing about Commodore 64 games and uh, how great uh, they can be. Uh, you two may at some point be able to, well even attempt to program 
uh, a game of this sort of standard, then, well, good luck to you, because uh, that's a tall order. So I have less than a minute ago, I was just taking out another cunt, here we are. And now this fucking uh, ice cream van is going to get in the way of the next one. Uh, okay, I think I... I think I was a bit slow. No, oh, no, I oh, no, got the cunt. There we are. Oh, I was fucking throwing two again. I'm going to have to play this on a Commodore 64, not on the 128. There we are. The old Bill is here. Lucosa retreats, but swears to get the uh, cunts another day. Still, he knocked down six today. There you go. So, six on that attempt. That's not bad. So, that is Lucosa Wars. Um... Unquestionably the greatest uh, piece of software ever created for any home computer at any time. Um, I would rate it 10 out of 10, but to be honest, I think only rating it 10 is insulting to the game and insulting to the game creator. Uh, so uh, it's it's off the scale. It, it really is. Uh, you know, I defy anybody to find a game that can match this it's it's a true magnificent piece of uh, software engineering uh, so it's yeah the rating is uh, off the scale out of 10 uh, I could be playing this for some time so there may be a bit of a delay as far as uh, you know other game reviews and other like gaming videos because I've got to tear myself away from this one first. So that brings this review to an end. And we will see you at the next one whenever I'm able to tear myself away from this and do our next one. I wonder if John Gage will ever review this.